Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll just be showing you guys uh, something that you guys kind of requested, like uh, one or two of you uh, requested on how to make the mask effect with the Acto. So I'll just be showing that and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to select the clip you want. So well, I, it has to be in front of the kill, right? So I'm going to select here maybe. I'll unlink that. Maybe I'll unlink and then cut. So unlink, cut from where you want to start. Command C and Command V. So make sure your thing is on video 2 so you don't replace it. Okay, and now we have two layers. So this is where we get to work. Go to the first layer. And what we want to do is we want to make a mask on opacity. So what we do is let's say we can start off with a 4 point. And what I think is we should do first is we should drag to all oh, four points. But maybe let's put it. Okay, uh, 25. So you can see the entire screen. And pretty much we just collapse it. So it's like pretty much just a straight line. Okay, so now we just, we, uh, we just want to create the mask. And do what I did here, and put the mask feather to zero. Otherwise, the ecto won't work. So pretty much, you kind of want to squash it like this. And we want to go to here at the end, and just want to keyframe the ending. So now we go to the ending uh, keyframe, and what we want to do is you want to shape it to the shape that you would like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab these two points and I'm gonna drag and pull up so it looks wider I think that's about good so we watch it back it slowly expands out so you want to do it a bit before it ends so kind of like this but to make it a little more interesting what I think you should do is we can just uh, go to the end and we can uh, rotate this so what it looks like is it looks like that and then it's across the screen and then oops, so okay no we want to delete that last keyframe not the mask so And now if we go back to the main thing, we can add the Ecto, which I already did. So pretty much you just drag it and uh, you have to nest the sequence. That uh, I don't know why, but you just have to nest it and then you just put the Ecto on. And it pretty much just looks like that. I don't, I'm not going to render it because it's going to take too long, so... And what I think you should do is you should do a little bit of a dissolve, so... Um, uh, you guys pretty much should have Sapphire if you are watching this video. Um, and just put it to like 20 should be fine, we can just watch the backs. So kind of like that, so have it expand outwards You can play around with this, this is not a very detailed one but it's pretty much the basis And then I think one of the really important parts is we go to our audio or wherever we start our sound effects And I think I have a sword slash
So you pretty much want to align the um, where you think the sword slash starts. And I think this works even well, uh, better if you just go into here a bit like uh, the first mask and you pretty much just select it and you make it so that the mask uh, like maybe like 10 frames before this make it so the mask is like really small and expands outwards so what you kind of want to do is just do that you just want to make this really small as well almost so that you can't even see it Okay, and then it should be like that. Okay, and if you really want to be really detailed, you can zoom in like 150%. Just... This can be even like closer, I think, maybe. So one, two, three, four, five, three, maybe. So maybe here, and then pretty much what it looks like is it looks like this. Set the dissolve to longer, maybe 30. So kind of like that. I just cut the audio there. So that's how kind of how you want to do it. And in all honesty, you actually don't even need to uh, do the monochrome so early. So maybe let's just remove that. You can even have other colors going on behind and stuff. So what I think is a pretty good one to do is once we have monochrome this, let's just nest it and we can do find edges or edge and I have these so let's just see yeah so it's just um it's the wrong one okay this is our right one glow edges so S glow edges and then you pretty much just find a color and since we're using blue you can even do a contrasting color like yellow so we just do that and then and important to do here is you want to smooth the edges by two And, then, and there we go so that's just how you do it and uh, i hope you learned something and enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one